Hey guys, welcome to another Heavy Metal Diecast video and today's Armoured Behemoth we have here is an ISU-152 um, This obviously is a Russian Russian vehicle here so it was a Soviet made self-propelled gun that was used during World War II um, It had a 152mm casemate style howitzer in place and it was mainly used as say mobile, mobile artillery and to support infantry and armoured attacks and it was first used in um, 1943, um, with some examples that are still in use today in some militaries, believe it or not. And it was produced from 1943 um, up until 1959, with around 4,635 examples made in all their variants. So what we'll do is get this out of the packet so we can have a real good look at it. So as you can see, it's the Theogostini Type 1, so it does uh, just have a little pack it over the top of it with a sort of a just a standard cardboard base and this uh this beast sent me back around 50 bucks and um it is 143rd scale so it is it is not tiny as you can see by my the sausage fingers um it is quite large <laughs> i think it it does present quite well uh the look the only probably issue i have is so that's all that's all metal and then you've got your little plastic accessories that um, that seem to be a slightly different green to the actual metal green, and that that does sort of put me off a little bit. But um, the overall um, vehicle itself, it, it looks, it's well made, looks tough, and um, it's got some great detail. You can see the um, stowage accessories on the side there, some uh, Russian writing on the side. The uh, tracks are sort of a uh, softish. They do sort of um, they are pliable a little bit here and there. Uh, I, I think overall, though, it, it is a pretty pretty cool looking vehicle uh, for for what it is. Um, it is stuck on the base with those weird screws. So if you do want to take it off the base uh, at all, you need to have a specialised head for that. Um, the the detail, like the howitzer, does does go up and down. Not really much side to side um, movement, but the elevation is up and down. It does have that. Does does have a little aerial here. And it does also have a little 12.7mm uh, DSHK machine gun up top there. And um, I think, uh, look, they were, you know, it's a fa fairly uh, good looking tank. Besides that uh, coloration difference, if, if it didn't have that coloration, if, if it all color matched, I, I would say this is, <laughs> this is a really awesome vehicle. The, I mean, the, these effectiveness of these vehicles, I mean, 152mm uh, howitzer, that was, uh, <laughs> that's that's uh, pretty powerful, um, but the rate of fire for these were fairly slow, Dep it was pretty much dependent on the crew, um, because the the shells were extremely heavy, so the rate of fire could be slow as one to three um, rounds per minute, So, but a lot of that was crew dependent, and how well trained the crew was, and not not always um the soviets did not always have the best training for their for their crews before they sent them out into combat but i, I think overall for like for 50 dollars um it's not too bad uh but yeah as i said that coloration difference is a little bit annoying but if you can get past that um i mean you could you know obviously color those uh get a color match and paint those um plastic accessories if you want to do that but the point of buying a ready made die cast uh model is so you can not do anything. <laughs> so, all right, guys, I will leave it at that. So once again, this is like a magazine type uh, edition. It is 143rd scale. It is an ISU 152 from 1944, as it's got there. It's just got some minor details uh, on that base there. And um, it's die cast with some obvious plastic accessories. And those plastic accessories are quite obvious by the color difference. So. All right, guys, thank you so much for uh, watching another of our videos. So if you did like it at all, throw us a like. That'd be awesome. And even subscribe to the channel if you want to check out some more armored videos and, of course, all the other stuff that we do. And uh, all right, guys, all you guys take care of yourself and uh, have a great rest of your day. Cheers, guys.